Hello everyone, Charmantini here, and today I'm talking about how to install and use Nmap for uh, Ubuntu. Uh, Nmap can be found at nmap.org. Now, Nmap is a security uh, scanner. Um, it's also a network, a network um, tool to basically check uh, things like the effectiveness of IP filters uh, to check. Uh, for OS fingerprinting it can do a lot it's a very powerful tool um, I'm only going to do the tip of the iceberg with you today on how to install and run uh, your first scan um, but there is this website nmap.org will have a complete user reference guide it has the download uh, it teaches you things and like uh, how to do penetration testing uh, stuff like that it's a really great site um, I'm going to show you how to install it now. So just like with most things on Ubuntu, we'll just go to command line. And the first thing you'll do is sudo apt-get update. Okay, we want to get fresh packages from the repository. Now, next thing we'll do is sudo apt-get install. And map. Okay. okay, we've gone ahead and installed. Let's just make sure. Yeah, we have. We are now have some info from Nmap. Okay, so if I wanted to do, let's say, scan my entire internal network. What I could what I could do is just do nmap space my internal network range 192.168.1.1 with the subnet mask abbreviated with the CIDR or the the slash if it's uh, your home network like 192.168.1.1 for instance it's a 24 bit network so I'm doing slash 24 then we'll hit enter and we're just going to wait it usually takes a couple minutes okay, just give it its time okay. and now in this internal network I've gone ahead and scanned from dot one right down to dot 254 and it's just a simple scan right now this is telling me what ports are open what ports are closed okay so it started uh, one dot one and I see for its SSH and 1723 are open with 998 ports closed and the same for 1.7 port 80 is open um, so yeah that gives me um, that will give you uh, if the state is up and um, how many ports are open what what service uh, the ports are accepting and uh, how many ports are closed one more basic task you can do you can go ahead and do uh, OS fingerprinting so what OS fingerprinting is is the ability for us to kind of determine what operating system is used on the remote machine so we can go ahead and uh, under OS detection do uh, the dash O okay so let's just do nmap 192.168.1.2 um, that's a net one that I know is on the network with dash O excuse me Okay. Uh, OS fingers printing. Make sure to put sudo in front because it requires root privileges. Okay. Let nmap do its thing, and what we can see here is that um, it has found all the ports. Okay, that are open or filtered. 
okay if you notice see this is 1-1.2 on the simple scan that we did up here okay um, 1.2 first of all that machine didn't even show up okay <clears throat> And 1.2 is a firewalled machine. It's a Windows box. It's actually my media server. So 1.2 is a firewalled machine uh, running Windows 7. And let's see what uh, was found. Now we we'll have some open but uh, 988 filtered ports, not closed if you notice that. Uh, so there's three states. There's open, filtered, and closed. So closed means that there's nothing there at all or uh, the firewall is blocking it. Filtered means that some things may be allowed through, some things other, and then open means that there's a service at the end of that, listening. Okay, so we have that, and now we've now grabbed the MAC address. Okay, and now uh, we've gone ahead and with Windows, with uh, the OS fingerprinting, it's determined that it's either Windows Vista 2000 or 7. So it's not 100% accurate because it's still saying that, yeah, it's a Windows machine, but it won't really determine exactly which one. However, we've gone ahead and uh, at least narrowed it down to a Windows box. And um, I don't see anything where it's saying Windows XP or anything like that. So it's been pretty good in saying that it's either Windows Vista or Windows 7. So that's just a small tutorial on the much bigger picture uh, for Nmap. Nmap is a very valuable tool. Uh, it can you can do firewall uh, firewall testing with it. Uh, I could do IP spoofing. You can do a lot, and I plan to I plan to make a lot more videos about this wonderful tool. There's also a front end if you're interested um, in it. So just applications in your um, Ubuntu and then Ubuntu Software Center and um, I found that this is the easiest way although I don't really like using GUI to install things but um, I've never been able to actually get it installed via command line you would just type in ZenMap and ZenMap is a uh, front end for uh, Nmap and so you can like click around and stuff I'll do another video on, on how to use it um, <coughs> And that's it. So just to kind of sum it up, uh, basically Nmap is a network and not a uh, network scanning tool that has many other options: OS fingerprinting, um, IP scanning, network scanning, firewall and spoofing. Um, there are just uh, a lot more things to this app. Uh, so I hope that you found this informative. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in my video comment section. And please subscribe to my channel. You can also visit my website. is www.seanmancini.com Alright, thank you for watching everyone. Have a good day.